Good afternoon people and today we're going to be talking a little bit about adapter kits and how to fit them and how to make sure your clutch system works correctly. Okay so uh, what we're going to do is using some simple tools to show you how to quickly set up uh, an adapter style system so that you have no problems once you've installed the gear box. You're not having headaches when the clutch won't clear or anything like that. Okay so first of all assemble your clutch system together put your pressure at uh, your uh, adapter plate onto the engine um, and bolt on your flywheel, your friction disc in the centre and your pressure plate. Bolt them all together so that the fingers pull in. Then take a straight edge, measure down to the plate, I'm getting 83 mil there. Measure to the fingers, I'm getting 3 mil there. So we've basically got 80 mil between those fingers and that plate, right? Remember that, 80 mil. So then the next step, we go over to the gearbox and we're going to do a very similar thing. So at the gearbox, what we want to do is, because we measured from the plate, the adapter plate, which will sit here, we want to measure with all these components basically pushed fully in. We want to then measure to the bearing from the face and that gives us 88 mil. Now what we want to do is we want to take that to as close to 80 mil as we can get. 81 mil would be about optimum. So somehow we basically need to make this bearing come forward 8 mil. Now the way that I generally tend to do it is um, if you look at this side, so obviously that side has the cylinder in, um, this side, if you look, has a pivot ball in, let's use the torch, there look. So the pivot balls sometimes have a nut on the back like this one does, and sometimes they're threaded into the box, and sometimes they're plastic and they're not adjustable. So you want to basically wind that out. Now bear in mind, we want to move it 8 mil. Now because it's on a pivot, you move that eight, out 8 mil and it isn't going to give you 8 mil. It's in the centre of the pivot, so it's probably going to give you 4 mil. So in reality, if you wanted to take the whole amount of travel up with that, you would have to move it 16. Um, I wouldn't advise that. I would try and do it evenly so that, you know, perhaps either extend this or if this has enough travel, just maybe go 15 mil with that. Um, can be a little bit of trial and error. For a lot of the adapter kits uh, that we already do, I can always give advice how much to take it because I've probably done it before. So anyway, to cut a long story short, get this bearing so that it's around about 80, the same as the other, before you put these two items together. Now you don't want this to be more, uh, sorry, less than 80, because if this is in a static position pushed out more, then that is high, you're going to be putting pressure on your pressure plate which is going to release that friction disc and wear out your bearing, which you don't want to do. So you want to make sure that it has that tiny little bit of free play, a mill's fine, um, and, then, and then go from there. So I hope that's kind of helped to clear things up for people. If you've got any more questions regarding these or um, if you're having problems making your clutch clear, um, give me a call. There might be something that we've uh, we've come across before, and I could maybe make a, a video to make it easier for you. So there you go.